Holy children, breathe me in now. Breathe in the power of your God. Just inhale my Holy Spirit, my children. Just relax and breathe me in. Let go of all your worries and all your concerns. Let go of all the stress of your life, my children. Just let go and fall into my arms. Fall into my loving embrace. Allow me to fill you, my children, with all love and peace and hope and joy. Allow me to come alive within you, my children. Allow me to fill your entire being with my Holy Spirit, with the power of the Most High God, with the golden glory of your Lord and of the heavenly realms. Let me rain down upon you, my children, like fire from heaven upon your souls. Let me rain down all the gifts of the Spirit upon you, my children. Let me open up your heart and your mind and your eyes to see the truth, to see the mysteries of the heavenly realms, to see the glory of my kingdom. Come, my children, come and take my hand now. Come and fly with me across a great expanse of glory. Oh, my children, I will lift you up and give you all peace. I'll bless you as never before. I will open your eyes to see. Allow your mind to know and understand the secrets beyond the veil of life and death. My children, I am here. Come with me and fly, my children. Come with me and see the heavenly abodes that lay beneath us. Oh, the glory, my children. Do you not see the glory? Do you not see the golden glow of heaven? the beauty that surrounds us now. Can you not see the beautiful meadows, my children, and the streams of living water? Can you not see your peaceful habitations, my children, that you will come and exist in for all eternity? The most glorious things that you have ever seen in your lives, beyond all of your imaginings, my children. Places that sparkle brighter than the most precious jewels upon your world. Places of glory and hope and wonder. My children, material things mean nothing upon your world. For when in my heavenly realm you will want for nothing. Anything that you can imagine and beyond your imaginings will be yours. Because you'll be in a place of peace, a place of forever, a place of glory and rest. You will rest forever, my children, with no more stress, no more pain and heartache, no more anxiety and fear. No more heaviness upon your souls, my children. It will all be gone from you. It will all be lifted off you by the power of my love, by the salvation of my Holy Son, Jesus, by his sacrifice, my children. All of the sins of the world be lifted off your soul. It will be washed away from you. And you will at last be at peace. My children, can you not see how expansive my heavens are, how beautiful my heavenly realms are, that even the flowers in the heavens, some of them are so gigantic, my children, that you could even rest upon them. That you could go within its very essence, my children. That you can rest within the beauty of my creation, of my glorious flowers, within the petals that I have created for you. And you can wrap them around you like a blanket, like a protective shield, my children. I know these things seem so strange to you in your world and that you will not understand or comprehend what it is I'm telling you, my children. But the heavens are not as your world. The heavens are a wondrous playground for your soul. They are beautiful in all ways, my children. Even the smaller flowers of the field sparkle as the greatest diamonds in your world. Everything is glorious, my children. The, the steps leading up to my throne room are iridescent and the glory of the Lord, my glory, shines down upon all things, my children. You have rivers of living water that you can drink from. You have trees full of every type of fruit that is every type of flavor that you should, could ever want, my children. These things are yours in the heavenly realms. There is nothing that you're going to miss there's nothing that you were going to wish that you had, my children, for the heavens are yours. The heavens are yours for your taking. Oh, my children, come and see. Open up your eyes. Do not be so blinded, my children. Do not be so arrogant in your thinking that you cannot believe the truth of the heavenly realms. 
my children, great and wondrous are my ways, great and wondrous are my heavenly realms. Great and wondrous are the things that I have in store for those who love me and do my will. Those of you who walk the planet now in great humility, in great love, in great peace, my children. Those of you who love me and do my will, those of you who walk in obedience, my children, great things are for you in the heavenly realms. Do not be sad, my children about the closing up of your world. Do not be sad, my children, when your world comes to an end. For all things have been and all things will be again. There is a cycle in your life, my children, and it continues to flow. But one day, things will come to a complete end and the new heavens and the new earth will be yours. A place of great glory and beauty, my ch children, as you have never seen or known before are soon to be opened up before your very eyes. For those who believe, for those who truly believe in me, for those who truly believe in my ways, the heavens are a vista for your souls. They are life to you, my children. They are freedom, eternity, and complete joy. A joy that you have never known before on your earth. A joy that will lift your spirits out of the depth of despair and help you to soar to the greatest heights. Oh, my children, you will not be restricted in any way. You will just be, my children. You will be free as energy is free. You will be free in your new spiritual bodies, my children. You will be full of light and love and peace, just as I am, my children. For you were created in the likeness of your God. And you are beautiful to me, my children. But your earthly bodies, they fail sometimes if you don't look after them. Your earthly bodies age. Your earthly bodies do not continue on forever. But your spiritual bodies will. Your spiritual form that is all light will soar on for all eternity, my children. As long as you are in me and doing my will. As long as you are obedient to my ways. As long as you are not coupled with the darkness at this time. You are not drenched in the darkness, my children. Oh, my dear ones, open your eyes to see and your hearts to know and understand. Open, my children. Be at peace, my dear ones. Do not be silly at this time. Do not be full of disbelief and arrogance and pride. These things do not do you any good, my children. These things are not good for your soul. Just be full of peace and love and hope, as I have asked you to be. Reach out a love and kindness to all the world, my children. Reach out a hand of compassion to all those in need. Do not turn away from them. Do not turn a blind eye to the people around you at this time. Just be peace, my children. Just be peace and love and hope and rest. Be kindness. Don't just be kind, but be kindness, my children. Become the very essence of kindness within your souls. I want to see kindness ebbing out of you, my children. I want to see kindness coming out of every pore of your flesh. I want to see love pouring out of you, my children. I want to see a heavenly glow coming from you so that other people in the world will see it and they will question it and they will wonder what you are, who you are, where you came from. And you would tell them that you are of me that the living God lives within your soul and that is why you are so on fire. That is why the glow of the heavens comes from you because the living God lives within your soul. The living God is within you, my children, if you allow him to be. If you allow my Holy Spirit to come alive within you as never before, to explode from all of your senses. If you allow me, my children, then I am here. I will change you supernaturally in the most wonderful way. I'll bring you peace as you have never known before, dear ones. I'll bring you hope and rest and love as you have never known before. I'll help you to relax in a world full of chaos, in a world full of pain and anger and fear and strife. You will have peace, my dear ones, and I will help you get that peace. I'll bring that peace alive within you 
I'll enlighten you with my love so you can love others, my children, so you can love all those around you, dear ones. I will give you love. I'll give you love so that it overflows from your soul and into the hearts of all those around you. If you allow me to, my children, if only you would allow me to. If only you would be love as I am love, instead of letting hatred and bitterness and anger to come upon your souls. Wash it all away, my children. Breathe in my love now. Breathe me in, my dear ones. Become a new creation in Christ Jesus. Allow me to change you heart and soul because I'm only changing you back to the one that I created you to be, to the creation that I wanted you to be in the beginning, my children. When I knitted you together in your mother's womb, I filled you with my love. I filled you with my peace. Do not let that drown out now, my children. Do not let that go away. Do not take that away. Do not let that disappear from you. Do not suffocate it with sin. Do not suffocate it with hatred and bitterness and envy and strife. Allow that love that I gave you in the very beginning to explode out of you now, my children. Allow me to be in you, my children. Allow me to pour out of you so the whole world can see the glory of the Lord. So the world understands who I am. Who I am, my children. For I am that I am, and I am love, and I am peace, and I am kindness, and I am all power and might. And yes, my children, I have been wrath, because the world is so sinful. My creation turned from me, they turned away from me, and they went to the devil. And they went and they sinned greatly in my sight, so greatly that I could not contain my anger against you. But now it has subsided, my children, and I want to bring you home to me. My holy son Jesus is going to separate the wheat from the chaff and you are going to come home to me in the heavenly realms. You're going to come home to your God. You're going to enter into my holy dwelling places, my children. You're going to enter into the light. You're going to enter into a world that you could not even comprehend. You do not want to believe because it seems like silliness to you and fantasy to you, but it is the truth, my children. For anything that you could ever want or long for in the heavens, once you are washed clean by the blood of the Lamb and saved through his holy sacrifice, once you have passed through the judgment room of your God and you are set free into my heavenly realms to worship your Lord forever, you will be free. You will be free as you have never been before and you will soar around the heavenly realms and the most amazing things will be on offer to you. My children, do you really think that these things are just contained to your world? That all the things that you think of in your minds, all the things that you imagine, where do you think that they come from, my children? Do you not understand that there is a, there is a, a bright spark of heaven that is still alive within you? That within every cell of your body there is a spark of heaven and it is alive within you my children if you allow it to be if you allow it to to just explode out of you and come alive then you will see the truth all these things that you can imagine in your world you know them because you have visited here before my children my children i know you and you know me and we love each other, my children. I love you with a never-ending love, and you once loved me, but sin came upon you. Sin came upon you like a poison arrow, my children. It penetrated into your heart and your souls, and it corrupted you against me. It corrupted you against heaven, and it blinded you to the heavenly realms. It blinded you, my children, until you were lost. So I sent you there to become new again to become whole again, to become new creatures in Christ Jesus, to be saved and sanctified through the holy blood of my son when he shed it for you all, oh my children. Oh my children, I wish that you could see and understand. I wish you would open your hearts and your minds now to my truth. I wish that you would once again believe my children. Just believe my children, just believe and come home. 
come home to me when your time there is done. Once you have fulfilled your purpose upon the planet, once you have lived out the number of your days that are predestined for you to live out, my children, then come home to me. Don't be lost to me in the darkness, my children. Don't be taken to the pits of despair. For heaven is your playground. Heaven is your home for all eternity. And in heaven, anything that you could want or imagine that is good, that is pure, that is beautiful, that is love, is yours, my children. Anything, my children, that you could want, that is of me, that is in line with the kingdom of heaven, you can have, my children. And you do not have to fear because you will know have no sin in you. So you will not want anything that isn't in line with me and my kingdom. You will not want anything that isn't right, my children. You will only want the good and pure things of heaven. And you will have such a wondrous, glorious time, my children. And you will feel so full of love and euphoria as you have never felt before. You will be full of the burning glory of your Lord, my children, as I pour down my spirit through you. And I lift you up out of the darkest night and I transport you to the brightest places in the heavenly realms into the glory of your Lord who lives and abides forever. Oh, my children, breathe in my glory now. Breathe in my love, my children. Breathe me in. Breathe in the glory of the Most High God. Breathe me in, my children. Breathe me in and be at peace. Breathe me in, my children. Allow my love to fill you and allow my love to pour forth from your souls for all the world to see. I love you, my children. I love you so much and I'm going to give you all good things. I'm going to give you wondrous things. You're going to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. As long as you stay in me and do my will and stay humble and pure in my sight. And I'm going to show you the most magnificent glory and the most strange but wonderful and secret things in the heavenly realms when you come home to me one day when your time on the earth is done i love you my children i love you now and i will love you forever more this is a word from the lord your god who lives and abides forever amen